How should I have United plus Tanjiro? Ah, so beautiful. Budget for this must have been through the roof. They said no budget. Oh, damn. Wow. If I can't live, neither are y'all. Ah, I forgot about this. Couldn't be that easy. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dana, and today we are watching episode eight of Demon Slayer season four. Hashira training arc guys we are on the last episode i feel like it's been a long time coming i mean it's taken two months to get here but we are finally here and i am so excited for it as i was saying in the last episode if you haven't watched it i will put the card right up here feel free to watch that episode alongside me we got to see muzan coming in they spent like a whole like two three minutes of him just walking into the demon slayer compound it was very dramatic but a little too long if you ask me yeah so this this episode, the Hashida will unite as well. That is the name of the episode. And I'm super excited for it. I'm excited to see all of them fighting. I'm excited to see Tanjiro will ask. You know he's gonna be the one to ultimately save the day, which makes sense. But actually when you think about it, he isn't the strongest out of all of them. So it will be funny if he is the one to ultimately end all of the fighting. I don't think we will even reach that part of the episode. I think we're gonna end up losing a lot of people in this episode and a lot of the people that we like, or at least that I like. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a sad episode and then they're gonna end on a cliffhanger and we're gonna get the rest of the actual fighting in the next episode actually you know what i think is actually gonna happen i think at the end of this episode he's gonna find where nezuko is he has already probably found her and that's why he has arrived because that was his main thing he was trying to find where she is hidden he's gonna find her they're gonna fight 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 as he gets closer to her he's gonna take her there's gonna be a little bit of a struggle and then he's gonna go ghost and that is what the next season is gonna be about trying to get nezuko go back and then they'll have the ultimate final big battle that is my guess comment down below if you guys think that'll happen or what you guys will think will happen in the comments i'm curious to see your predictions but i guess we should get right into this episode but before we do make sure you hit that like subscribe and notification bell so you know when the next one comes out guys we gotta wait for this next one and in the meantime we gotta watch some other shows so comment below what else we should watch i'm thinking right now maybe my hero academia or attack on titan let me know your opinions on those shows if i should watch those next or something completely different comment below Alrighty, guys let's get into this final episode of the hashira training arc i'm so excited starting in three two one Oh no, back to his walking in. <laughs> How long is this gonna take this time? Mm -hmm. This is starting to feel very cinematic. They did a great job of this one. But I don't think we needed a recap of this. I hope they, they speed it on up a little bit. Yeah, I feel like this could be its own movie. That's what it's feeling like already. Oh boy. Okay, so it's gonna be a whole another like two minute intro. <laughs> I think it's only bad because I literally just watched this happen. I think if I waited like a whole, you know, like week or two, it wouldn't be so bad. But I'm like, dang, I just watched you do this whole walking montage. And I gotta watch it all over again. <laughs> but I get it. You know, it's supposed to be dramatic. He's coming in. This is the start of the fight. This is this is it. This is Muzan's time. He is here. And he is here to take some lives. <laughs> so while we wait, I guess comment down below. Who is your favorite Hashira? I think um, it's a tie for me. I love the love Hashira. I just think she's super badass. She's a great design character, super strong. I love her double swords. And I love Tokito. I think he's really fun. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, obviously, number one in my heart, though, is Rengoku. I really loved him. He loves his food. He looks like a fireball. Which is funny. His part of the story was like this small, but his impact on the story was like this big <laughs> y'all like we still haven't gotten here yet oh thank goodness <laughs> you know they sure did make muzan look nice though 
Finally. How long did that take? A oh, that was three minutes. Three minutes of him walking. Three minutes. The final episode. The Hashira. Unite. Yeah, it has a very striking character design. The red eyes, the sharpness, but the little wavy hair. I like it. For the last how many years? Oni. Thousand years. Goodness gracious. And finally, he's in front of his eyes. And he can't even do anything about it. That must be the worst part. Like, he finally has him in front of his eyes. And he can't do anything about it. And he can't even see him. She's doing a great job of explaining it for him. What a shame that he didn't actually get to see him after all of this time. Well, we all knew that. You've been quite livid with me. Why is that? I always expected you to come personally for me alone. That is why your number one started with you. Had the gall to constantly thwart me. Okay, Miss Dictionary. So very hideous. Yeah, he's he's knocking on death's door, that's for sure. Hey, six months ago. Lasted a while. Oh, gosh. Yeah, but unfortunately not for much longer. Mm. Yeah. Pulled his eye out. Okay. Nice. Okay. Well, yes, potentially. But at least he lived to the day to actually see him. That's great. I figured they kind of look alike. Mm. Our blood is no longer thick. あ、だ、サイ。and that is exactly what he did. So his clan could survive. Mm. Wow. I mean, it sucks for all the wives. Oh, man. Damn, he is like, I do not care what you have to say. Dang. I mean, I don't know why I expected anything less than that, but it still sucked for him to just be like, oh, what you had to say. I mean, what do you expect from him? He's literally a demon. Who? It's for fun. His dream is to conquer the world. Does he sleep? むしろ。Wow, this is very eerie. 
I would be terrified if, <laughs> if that just, I just looked over and saw someone singing like that. I'm reading, but I don't even know what they're singing about. But the tune is catchy. Is this part of his power? Where are those, wait, are those real girls real? Or is that a figment of his imagination? I don't know if the dream will come true. I think someone is gonna ruin your dream, bud. I hope so. Yeah, where is Nezuko? I have all the time in the world. This is true. The human will. Hmm. The human will live on forever until it's broken. I don't know. I feel like a human, so a human's will and spirit can be crushed very easily. But I guess it could just be turned into something different. So yeah, I guess, I guess so. Has never been eradicated in the past thousand years. This is true. Yeah, no matter how many people have died, they still kept along, trying to pursue this dream of defeating him. Mm. I guess so. Okay, I could see that. Are those little girls real? Are they actually there singing? I feel like they're not. I thought they were just... I don't know. I got a little confused. It's eternal. This is a really beautiful scene. What is about to happen? Mm. Ah, there the tiger and the dragon. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be easy for him, that's for sure. But it will also not be easy for them either. That's true, to just give them more fuel for the fire. That is trudging them along. I'm surprised that Muzan has let him talk this song. I thought he would have just been like, Yeah, I don't care what you have to say. Shut up. Is that true? He's like, oh, dang. Yeah. He's like, oh, no. Yeah, he didn't like that. <laughs> He's like, no, you cannot wipe all of my creations off this earth. Ah, at least he got to say what he finally wanted. He can die peacefully. Yeah. This is true. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. He's like, I do not care. Yeah. Great animation right there. <laughs> He's like, are you done already? He's like, yes. I finally said what I've been wanting to say. Yeah, I'm surprised he listened for that long. Very, uh, considerate of him. Muzan! Muzan! Muzan is here! Y'all are gonna be too late. Yeah. He's gonna see his master. I guess they're all gonna be there to see his master. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the Hashira unite at the beginning of the episode, right away. 
Plus Tanjiro. <laughs> no, you guys aren't gonna get there in time. Are we already at the middle of the episode? No way. I didn't think all of the fighting would happen like in this, uh... Oh. In this dojo. Get a little flashback. He doesn't want that though. <笑>私も塾で柱となり、8年間言い続けているが、聞き入れてはくださらぬ。イザク、バッ、アバリトライド。イズナカライドスドゥダット。ユキチョノセン。イズナカライドスドゥダット。ユキチョノセン。イズナ
鬼を人間に戻す薬ですよおーおー she got it no way if she does that like if that works that will be insane Ah! I think he just broke her head. I don't think it's outrageous. Yes, but she did that as a result of what you just did to her. You turned her into a monster. Nah, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Yeah. 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 And then she didn't get to see it at all. If anything, it was worse. Oh, did he just pull her, her eye out? All right. All right. Nice. Yeah, they, they, they pulled out the budget for this one. They said no budget. Dang. Okay, surely this fight is not going to be this easy. Yeah, no, surely it is not. Wow, that's really beautiful. Such a sweet face. He's like, I know the true story. Even if that little girl did you dirty. I know you're not a murderer. That's what he needed to hear. That he did the right thing. Because I'm sure he even started to question himself like, dang, was I the monster? Mm. Mm. Well, he accomplished what his master's uh, mission for him was. Because in that last scene, he sure did. Mm, I, I feel like they told us this. But I didn't remember that. And that is how they've lived for so long. He's like, so don't tell them shit. He's like, I am not trying to argue with them right now. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to, but if that's what you want, I guess I have to do it. I think, unfortunately, one of them might. I don't think that wish will be fulfilled, but... It is a sweet wish, and I wish it would be true, too. Oh, dang, and it regenerated, too. Dang. That's kind of wild, watching it regenerate. That's that's pretty cool. Sunlight. So you guys just have to keep fighting. You'll be in... Yeah, it's going to be a long, drawn-out battle. I mean, he is like the demon of all demons, so it does make sense why he regenerates so much faster than the rest of them. That is not going to be an easy task. Ah, he's like, I can do blood art too. Nice. Stone skin. Wow. <laughs> They're going to be tired by the time they even start fighting. Well, at least I guess his, uh, his anger helps fuel him. It doesn't uh, blind him. So, I guess it's decent, like, it's okay. When is Muzan's backup gonna show up? Nice shots. Yeah, they really killed it with this episode. The Hashira have united, plus Tanjiro. 
<laughs> and that is why he was the master. He... Very smart. Very, very smart. Great strategy so far. But I wonder, is her... Uh, is her... Is her potion gonna work on him? So really, all of their fighting will be for nothing. They just kind of gotta keep him in place. She creeps me out. Her bug eyes, I just... Uh, uh, nice. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, dang. Ah, I forgot about this. Ah! <laughs> you know it couldn't be that easy. <gasps> Tempura. Oh, you better eat that before you go. Put it in your mouth already. Oh, now you're gonna fall. Eat it while you're going down. Oh, dang. They're all go they're all goners. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, it's over for them. No, oh, this should be interesting. I guess this is partly what all of that reconnaissance was for, so they could open this up on all of the people all over the place. <laughs> he is so cute. He is just so ready for battle. You know what this is feeling like? The end of the episode. Sounds very hopeful though. Oh, I forgot about him. You know, I'm still curious what was on his letter. What did he see? He's in a serious mode. Yeah, what, who and what, what did he see? Cause that, that seemed to change his whole demeanor. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess the next season will be the battle of just keeping him in place until sunrise. Well, I said it doesn't matter anymore because they're down here. It would be nice if one of them could, like, unleash the power of the sun. I wonder if that's what's going to happen. Is Nezuko going to, like, become the sun and that's what's going to kill all the demons? Oh, damn. They're all just waiting. Oh... Yeah, you tell him, Tanjiro. It sucks though, cause they'll never have even, even ground to stand on. Cause everywhere that they stand, he just immediately like, bong, bong, opens it up. What I tell y'all? We weren't gonna actually see anything. Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. <laughs> Not a thing. So is the next season gonna be a season? Is it gonna be released as a movie? I feel like they'll probably do both. They'll probably re release the movie first and then do another movie of it. But I think that's gonna be the final final of Demon Slayer, right? Like that's, that's it. I mean, I guess so, cause he's like the big boss. So once he's gone, who else is there to fight? Yeah, that was intense. That, they killed that episode though. Like that animation, the visuals, the music, the, the voice acting, everything was top tier, big budget energy. And I love to see it. Yeah, that that all just felt like one big movie. I, I mean, how long was that? That was, oh, I guess it was only 30 minutes. How long is this outro? We still have like six minutes left. I don't know. Yeah, what did I tell you guys? They're gonna leave on a cliffhanger. Literally, they were not even hanging off a cliff. They were falling off of it. And yeah, now the battle is going to begin. Now, everyone is united, everyone is there. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows where Nezuko is yet. We still have not gotten an update on her. I don't know. Is her potion gonna work on Muzan? I feel like it's not. I feel like they've actually gotta defeat him because that would be too easy if he just turned straight into a human because then, well, it would be too easy. Yeah, I don't know. These drawings at the end are really nice though. Shoot, I don't even know what else to say. That, that, was, that was great. I really loved seeing how much thought the master put into that final ploy, I guess. But it kind of sucks. Like, did he actually have to sacrifice his whole family? I guess by doing that, it it really made it seem like, it really made it seem like it was 
a surprise like oh i didn't know you were gonna show up right now but actually he knew he had the power of foresight so he sacrificed his whole family to keep the plan going and to make it look as real as possible like his daughters didn't need to be there i was very confused because i thought it was some kind of jutsu or something they weren't actually there but that was what was in muzan's mind but no the girls were actually there singing their creepy little song but yeah like he really put the thought into that and i, I liked seeing him blow it all up and all of the little seeds that pierced through him. Not that they did anything, but I guess that was really just a test to see if anything is working. Like if that potion worked, if he will still regenerate and to see his speed of regeneration. So yeah, I think that was really the main part of that. Not to actually inflict any damage, but to kind of stump him a little bit. Cause he was like, oh shoot, they actually did this to me. Dang, they're actually smarter than I thought. And then also to try to keep him in place, but mainly just to see Muzan's powers because none of them have seen him before. Uh, I don't think, I feel like actually someone has seen him before. But yeah, so now, now we just have to wait. I don't know when this next season slash movie, whatever, I don't know when that's gonna come out, but I am excited for it. And guys, we still have like three minutes left on this. How long is this outro? That's how you know it took a ton of people to make that last episode. Of course they don't translate it. <laughs> hey, we get a Taisho era. Miss Kanroji. Interesting that they choose her to talk about. I mean, I love her, but. <laughs> God, she's so charming. <laughs> she's like, keep going, please keep going. I love it. Sugo, Sugo. She never gave up. There's so much passion in it. Mm. He's like, yes, I love Rengoku. He's a cool big brother, yeah. I like how they're playing like a lullaby kind of uh music as she's talking about him as a big brother sweet potato rice i've never heard of sweet potato rice before hey look at that that actually looks kind of good Aww. well you wish you could have you still can oh my hopes up like that why'd they make me think that he was alive guys i got so excited for a second there but uh yeah i don't think that's the case but that was really interesting we got to see more of that whole set that they're standing on uh and that was the most serious that one of these taisho eras has gotten and i i liked it that was that was sweet i was like wait why are they introducing kanroji right now i like when shows do these things where it's i, I guess it could kind of take you out of that whole dramatic element but i i like that that it's you know it's like a little palette refresher after watching such a dramatic episode i'm not even mad that they didn't actually fight or do anything i guess because i kind of already saw that coming because this wasn't the fighting arc this was the training arc so the end of their training is when they meet the final boss and also you know they they got it keep it so they can have a whole nother season. Uh, I, I don't know if there's anything else much to say, but I'm, I'm excited for it. That episode was great, 10 out of 10, everything about it, I love. So originally I said the last episode was my favorite episode. I think this, I liked this a lot more. Actually, yeah, I liked this episode a lot. Comment down below, what was your favorite episode of this whole season? Cause y'all, it was all great. <laughs> and while you're there, you might as well just hit the like, subscribe, 
and the notification bell so we can keep watching together. And so you know when this next season of Demon Slayer comes out and we can watch it together. I can't wait. In the time being, what should we watch instead of Demon Slayer? I'm trying to figure that out right now. I'm thinking currently Attack on Titan, maybe My Hero Academia. I don't know. You guys comment down below what you guys think I should watch in the meantime while we wait for the next episode to come out. I can't wait, you guys. The show's so great, but it will be a little um, bittersweet because you know what that means? It will be the end of Demon Slayer. Yeah, but I will be so happy to end this journey of Demon Slayer alongside you. So make sure you guys do tune in for when that does come out. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching all of Demon Slayer season four Hashira training arc alongside me. I had so much fun. I very much enjoyed this season, but I will say it started out a little bit rockier for me. It felt, I think, okay, so I think part of the dilemma was that I went into this thinking, yes, Demon Slayer, I'm gonna watch a battle, it's gonna be epic, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be animated, it's gonna be colorful, it's gonna be bright, flashy, this, that. But I didn't look at the name of the arc and like actually process it that this is the Hashira training arc. So of course, this is going to be a training arc. And I just expected something that wasn't what that was. Even without that, I really did enjoy this. I think it, it allowed us to slow down and really appreciate a lot of the Hashira throughout each of the episodes and get to know their backstories, get to know more about them. I think that's what this show does really well, is they really focus on the backstories of not even just the good characters, but also the bad characters, the demons, and they make you feel very emotionally connected to them. All that said, you know, I really did enjoy watching all of the Hashira stories. I liked the story of the last guy, the, the strongest Hashira, the best, the stone Hashira. It just touched all of the feels. And throughout all of this, seeing Tanjiro motivating people, I feel like that's one of his most redeeming qualities, is that he is so good at motivating other people, inspiring them to do better, even when they really don't think they can. And I think that's a really great quality to have in a person in general, but especially in a main character, because I'm rooting for him and he's rooting for everyone else. And like, he's always putting himself second and putting everybody else before him. You know, I'm conflicted about this because I think he's gonna lead the battle. Obviously he is the main character, but he is still not as strong as the Hashira. It's funny because when they all came in at the end and they were like, wind breathing, stone breathing, flame, bre you know, all the different breathings. And then he came in, he's like, sunflower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like, it's like, oh yeah, we're all here and he's here. Like, it, it, there's still that distinction, you know? He's still not quite a Hashira yet. And I don't know if he ever will. Be. I think he will be, but I don't know if that'll happen soon. But I think, yeah, it'll be interesting to watch the next season and to see if he, I don't know, if he's gonna be the one to save the day. He probably will be, but he won't do it alone, obviously. He is very much a team player and everyone will help, but maybe he'll be the one to do the finishing blow. But I don't know, it seems a little unrealistic because they are so much stronger than him. Mm, I don't know, because he's also fighting for his friends, his family. That'll unlock a whole new level in him, especially if he sees Nezuko with Muzan or something. I don't know, and I still don't know where Nezuko is. Do you think they were showing us all of these Hashira to like them? and then take them away from us. I think that is what's gonna happen. I think a lot of the Hashira are going to perish in the next episode. I mean, obviously someone has to, right? Because there's, it's gonna be a great battle. With battle comes loss and there will be lots of loss, but I hope their side does end up victorious. I think it will be because this is a very hopeful show and I think the whole season in general was really good. I don't know if it was one of my favorite of all of them, but it is the one that is the freshest in my mind and I think they did a successful job. I think the storytelling was really strong in really making me understand the characters, feel for the characters, and just learn more about their backstories and how they all, I don't really know if it really showed like how they all came together, but showing how they all come together and how they fit together and how they kind of play off of each other, their relationships and seeing more about the master. Yeah, I think now at this point, we have learned about everyone that is important to the story. We have learned 
enough about them to have some kind of connection to every single person. So it will matter when something happens to them. I'm not gonna lie though, I didn't care too much about the master dying. I feel like that is one person, maybe they did explain more about him in prior seasons and I just don't really remember, but I didn't really care too, too much about him. But other than that, all of the rest of the characters, you know, have a little bit of a connection to them, except the guy that's always angry. Like he, like he's doing too much. <laughs> I think throughout the season and also throughout the whole entirety of the show, the visuals have been amazing. I think from the start of Demon Slayer or seasons ago, they set the bar to a whole nother level with their level of animation. Everything was just always so visually pleasing to the eye, just beautiful visuals. The animation was smooth, but flashy. I, I just love to see. I think my favorite part of the show is watching them fight and seeing how they bring to life breathing. Breathing is so natural to me and I don't think about it, but seeing how they make it look so beautiful, that is truly our life form is breathing. You can't, you know, can't do without it. And just seeing like how beautiful they make it and how it surrounds the characters and that is what like propels them through this fight. I don't know, I think it's really beautiful watching it and how each Hashira has a different form that is unique to them. That's why I started off this season kind of a little disappointed. Like I was like, oh, where are the fights? I wanna watch them. Cause those are kind of the best parts to me other than the story and character development and the, you know, the building of the world and all of that. I think the fights are so beautiful the breathing, the movements, they're just so fluid and like they're just, it looks so unreal, which I, I guess it is. There's just such a fluidity to it that you wouldn't see in the real world. It just looks like there's a dance going on and you just get mesmerized and just sucked into the fight. Especially this last episode, there was a lot of mixing of different visuals. So you had the animations and then you also had real visuals juxtaposed together. So you had like the flames, you had the water, the trees, the forest was not animated. I don't know if I liked it or didn't like it. Like there were certain scenes where I was like, okay, I feel like it's too much, um, especially when Muzan was walking. There were certain times where I was like, okay, it just looks, it looks a little too weird together for me. Certain scenes where I think it made it look really beautiful, like when you're seeing the forest and you're seeing the, you know, the trees and the water and it looked real. And then you had this drawn character on top of it. I think it looked really nice. But then I think in certain scenes, like, like I said, him walking on the, the gravel, I don't know, it made me feel a little uncomfortable because it was moving so fast. And then like the textures just looked too real, but then his foot didn't look real and then there like weren't shadows. I don't know, that was like the one problem that I had with that and I feel like they might have overdone it a little bit, but I also understand because there was a lot of fire going on in those last scenes and I could imagine animating fire is probably one of the most difficult things to try to make it look realistic. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I think uh, going for realistic fire would probably uh, save a lot of time and frustration and get the same point across. So I don't know if like they did a lot of that to kind of cut corners or if it was for an artistic stylistic choice. I don't know, maybe I need to look that up. Overall, I think the episode looked so cinematic. Like it looked like a movie. It looked like I should have gone to the movie theaters to watch this with a big bucket of popcorn, not sitting here with my laptop watching it as an episode. I think they really nailed that. Uh, they really nailed the visuals. I think they made it look just stunning, stunning, stunning. But it wasn't even just the visuals, it was the music. It just, everything fit perfectly together. There was the drama, the tension. I mean, they spent three whole minutes just watching him walk to the front door. I feel like this episode, it was on like another tier than the rest of the episodes. I think that's also what made it feels so cinematic because there was the shots, the music. Also, there wasn't really humor in this episode. I don't know if that kind of takes away from that cinematic feel, not necessarily the humor, but like the little like silly shots that they do, which I really love, you know, when Tanjiro makes the funny faces or they have the little pop out graphics and stuff like that. None of that, there wasn't any of that in this episode. This was a very serious, this is the lead up to the battle kind of episode and all of the shot. I think the one of the cooler shots that keeps running through my mind is when the master was about to attack Muzan and then they did that like upside down flip of the camera and then it panned up and you saw Muzan's head. I think that was 
that was really cool. Timing was just spot on for everything, except, you know, him walking in. I was like, all right, I, I've seen enough of this. This, <laughs> this is enough. But I think they stretched everything out perfectly. And then they did those instant things perfectly as well. Like when he blew up the, the room, instant. It was like one second, it was fine. And then the next instant blew it up. And then they spent time on the explosion to show you just how massive that is and how powerful he was and how far his power extended. And yeah, I think they did all of that really successfully. But overall, I, I very much enjoyed this whole season as a whole. Had a good mix of everything. Of course, it was more character building, world development, kind of season as opposed to just fighting which you know at the same time if it was all just fighting I'd be like oh my gosh <laughs> is it gonna be over yet but I think the next season will kind of be like that but it'll also have a lot of flashbacks a lot of talking you know they gotta talk their shit so yeah I'm, I'm super excited for that are you guys ready for the next season I don't know when that's coming out also I don't even know if it's gonna be a season I don't know if it's gonna be a movie who knows but I guess the only way to figure out is just to continue waiting <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to watch it with you guys. So to make sure we can watch it all together, make sure you like, subscribe, and of course, hit that notification bell so you get that ring-a-ding when the next one comes out. But until then, don't worry because I do upload a new episode of a new show every single day. So we can continue watching together as we patiently wait for the next season and i can't wait to continue watching with you guys don't forget to please comment down below any thoughts you've had about this season did you guys like it did you not like it out of like all of the seasons you've watched so far do you guys have a favorite was it this one was it not were you vibing with it or not i feel like from what i've seen of the community most people weren't really vibing with this season and i can see that i think you just had to be a little bit more patient with this one to enjoy it well i guess i will see you guys back here tomorrow with a new show till then Bye.